Good morning, everyone. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 6th of October. Strong US PMI data suggests uh, steady economic growth. The US ISM non-manufacturing PMI rebounded sharply in September, easing some concerns over the underlying momentum of the US economy and adding more fuel to the dollar's uh, recent rally, particularly in uh, dollar yen. These encouraging data come on top of similar rebound in the ISM manufacturing PMI for the month and enhance the case for the Fed to raise borrowing costs by the end of uh, the year. Nonetheless, a lot will depend on tomorrow's employment data. We should note that the employment sub-indices uh, rose in both the ISM PMIs, which combined with uh, relatively low initial jobless claims throughout, throughout September, support that we could see a solid NFP number. Moving to the UK, in her closing speech at uh, the Conservative Party conference, uh, UK Prime Minister Theresa May criticised the Bank of England's post-crisis ultra-commodative monetary policy as having contributed to rising income inequality. She added that a change has got to come and we are going to deliver it. In our view, this suggests that once Mark Carney's term is finished at the Bank of England, he may be replaced by someone more hoggish on policy. Although this could be seen as a relatively bullish signal for the pound, uh, GBP traders are currently more concerned with political risks and the possibility of a, of a hard Brexit rather than monetary policy or economic data, which is obvious by the pound's recent uh, plunge. We maintain the view that uh, Sterling's outlook is uh, negative over the medium term due to political risks and the possibility of uh, a ballooning current account deficit. However, bearing in mind that the recent collapse in the pound appears overstretched, we cannot rule out the likelihood of a short-term corrective bounce before the next uh, negative leg. As for today, during the European day, we have a thin calendar in terms of uh, data releases. In Eurozone, the ECB will release the minutes uh, from its uh, September policy meeting. Although this is usually not a major market mover for uh, the euro, following Tuesday's reports that the ECB is nearing a consensus to taper its uh, QE program, it may attract some unusual attention. At that meeting's conference, President Draghi said that uh, the Governing Council did not discuss an extension or a tweak of the QE program. Nonetheless, the minutes could shed some light on how officials uh, view the outlook for inflation and hence whether ECB tapering could be the theme of uh, the coming months. In the US, initial jobless claims uh, for the week that ended on the 30th of September are expected to have risen, but this would leave the four-week moving average uh, relatively unchanged. Considering that initial jobless claims have been rather low in September, another encouraging print could indicate that the labor market remained uh, robust throughout the month. We have only one speaker scheduled for today, ECB Executive Board Member Peter Pryde. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.